So, my Pisca, it's day number two of our craving lemonade on today. Uh, so I know that you're probably craving something, some sweet. Uh, we've been drinking water every single day on this fast. And I don't know about you, that's tough for me because I'm like the Kool-Aid person. I like all the juices. And so, but I thank God that I'm able to consecrate myself in giving up these things that I love because I believe that, uh, that God is the author and the finisher of my faith. I also believe that uh, a man shall not live by bread alone but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Here's our focus on day number two of our fast. Our focus is God, guide my footsteps. We really want God to guide us on this 10 day fast. In order for God to do that, we've got to submit ourselves to him so that he can show us exactly how he wants us to live, what relationships he wants us to engage in, who we need to delete out of our contacts, uh, who we need to stay in contact with and who we don't need to stay in contact with and who we, what job we need to take, what jobs we need to avoid. Uh, I believe that the guidance of the Lord is what's needed in this day and age. And so this part of our fast, we're praying, God, guide me, really guide me, not just uh, guide me in the areas that I want to go, guide me in areas that I may be a little uncomfortable with, guide me in areas that I'm a little bit fearful. Uh, because we know that God is an awesome provider. Uh, he's an awesome leader of our lives, being the author and finisher of our faith. And so on day number two, please, in your prayer time, saying, God, guide my footsteps. Show me what I should say yes to. Show me what I should say no to. Because we know that you know everything about our lives, the beginning and the end. And if we trust you for guidance, we know that our feet shall be in the right direction every time. God bless you on day number two of our church-wide fast.